Dane and Felicity reach another hump in the road next week, as they continue to negotiate being around each other following the end of their marriage. After recently kissing friend Harper in an attempt to move on from Flick, Tane took some time out to visit his family in New Zealand. In the meantime, Flick has seemed to find a new acceptance of their breakup, taking off her wedding ring and placing it in a box alongside the wedding photo and Korowai. On Tane's return to Summer Bay, he immediately bumps into Flick outside the surf club and explains that he's told his family about their marriage breakdown. Flick is happy that Tane has the support of his fa now, but has no idea that it's already got him thinking about making a big change in his life. Harper and sister Dana are also pleased to see Tane, and having been clued in on the kiss, Dana can't help but tease that Harper has been missing her sessions. As Tane and Harper work out the next morning, Dana again winds them up about keeping things professional. Harper takes her sister to one side and reminds her that she and Tane are only mates, with Dana responding that Harper bites too easily. Tane wonders what's going on between the pair, and Harper is forced to admit that she told Dana about the kiss. Flick has already been feeling jealous of Tane and Harper's friendship, convinced at one point that they were sleeping together. So when the pair pack up and head back to the club to find Flick outside, there's an awkward moment. When Dana and Harper meet in Salt, Dana admits that she may have taken the Tane joke a little bit too far. Harper is keen to catch her sister's rare moment of self-awareness, and decides to record the moment for posterity. Dana submits, promising on camera to never again mention the fact that Tane kissed Harper. But as Dana opens her eyes, her face falls, she hadn't realized that Flick was standing right behind Harper, waiting with their drinks. Flick manages to maintain her composure as she serves up the coffees and returns to the bar leaving the sisters mortified. Harper feels she owes Flick an explanation, and tells her that she and Tane will never be a thing, but she's thrown by Flick's reaction as she asks when exactly it happened, and thanks her for her honesty. Harper can't help but feel a storm must be brewing, so she warns Tane that Flick could soon be on the warpath. Tane later finds Flick at home, and expecting both barrels, explains that the kiss between him and Harper was just a stupid little moment that meant nothing. But Flick again remains remarkably calm, as she tells him he doesn't need to explain, they're not together anymore, and all she wants is for him to be happy. Tane is impressed by her reaction, and as they smile at each other, their old spark reignites. Before they know it, Tane finds himself planting a kiss on Flick. The pair halt after a moment, trying to comprehend what they're doing, but it only takes a few seconds for them to give in to temptation and head into the bedroom. Are Flick and Tane back on? Or will this only complicate things further?